Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. It's been a long time, and I apologize for being away for so long. I've missed you dearly. Um, and I've missed video games, honestly. I've I haven't played games for well, I take that back. I, I, I had my DS with me on the road, so I was I was able to play some uh Majora's Mask while I was in Vegas, and then I was playing like games during the day and losing money on them. So yeah, I guess it seems a little bit um delayed, possibly. Is it looking okay? I don't know. It's hard to tell. My internet's being funny. Yeah, it might be. If it's unsynced, let me know. Um, I don't know. I will have to play it by ear. So tonight, we are trying out a brand new Stardew Valley challenge. And I've been looking at some ideas for this online, and I haven't seen anybody really do my specific idea here. Um, people have tried it, and it is uh, it is something that people have done in the past, but it's so it's not wholly original. But it is going to be cool, I think. So this is going to be a... Uh, a combat and mining focus challenge. I mentioned this to uh, viewers a little bit, a little while back, and uh, they said, "Oh, it sounds like a dwarf challenge." I'm like, "Oh yeah, that's that's a good name for it," and it seems like that's be that's kind of the the consensus of what um, it is is referred to as. I made up some special rules that I will follow for the playthrough. Um, primarily, the the main mode of earning income is going to be mining. Uh, mining in the caves and fighting things, selling off monster loot, selling off weapons we find, selling off uh, gems and ore and anything else we want to sell off. There'll be basically no farming in this playthrough as far as I, if I plan to. Uh, the only fishing I can do is really going to be in the caves. There's a couple lakes I can fish in, um, so I can do a little fishing there. And then there's specific times when I can do fishing, I can do farming if I'm trying to do the community center. I honestly don't know if I'll do the community center rounds because I've just done the community center so many times that I'm thinking maybe we do the Joja Mart route this time and just focus on money. And then that it's not a big deal. I mean, I don't really care too much about the 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 fate of the town. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a good thing. Who knows? Um, but yeah, we're gonna try the Joja route this time as well. Just play into the greedy dwarf aspect. I'm gonna get the stream before anybody asks. I know they'll ask again, but it is the uh, Baymax classic, one of my favorites. And I think without with without further ado, let's switch over to the game. Um, boom, should work. Yes, I think that worked. Okay, cool. Now I don't know. It seems a little delayed still. It's hard to tell at the moment. But um, let me know if it is not quite right. So I made up a character already, so I'm ready to go here. Um, let me kill off the Spotify here. One sec. All right, that's good to go. All right, uh, it's Granron is the guy's name. And it's uh, Jurgmon de Farm. Uh, I was Googling uh, Dwarven city names and Dwarven translators, and it depends on the language of the... If you're doing D&D &D Dwarfs versus um, uh, Tolkien versus like, I don't know. So I just grabbed a random person's translator. I was like, that's good enough. Um, but then I didn't actually f I didn't actually translate this word so it's just it just sounds like it's like it's like dwarf mound basically is what the farm's called um which sounded kind of interesting and this guy's our new dwarf I just noticed most of my characters have have beards though I'm pretty much sure so we got Brandon and Herschel's the one I've been playing through for a while now uh Modi has a beard of course and Modi's had a beard for a while the only Modi that doesn't have a beard is this beach Modi five o'clock uh, shadow Modi but that's the only one interestingly enough Anyways, let's get into Grand Ron here. Um, so a little bit about it. We have the Hilltop Farm. We have the monsters turned on, I believe. I hope that's how it works. I haven't actually tested this and looked it up yet, but what my ho hope is, is that there's a, there's a setting in 1.5 where you can um, choose to enable monsters spawning on the farm. And it used to only apply to the wilderness farms, but I think it applies to everything now as long as you have that setting selected. I chose remixed bundles for the community center. Not that we're going to be doing that necessarily, but I chose them. I also chose remixed loot for the mine. So the mine will have a variety of loot. We won't actually know what we're going to get until we open it. There's a set like loot table for the, the remixed versions. So that'll be fun. Um, I did hilltop farm instead of wilderness farm because then we have the mine. Um, we can start like digging right away. Um, get some of that progressing uh, right from the get go. Um, 
with the with the ores that are on the surface there. So that should help speed things along because the mines don't actually open for us to explore until you know the first couple days. But I think with the monsters turned on and the mine the mining available at home, we should have enough to do the first couple days here. So let's get into it here. And the quest of Granron. I I skipped the beginning as well, so we will uh, just breeze right past that. Um, so here we are, Granron, looking kind of dwarf. I like this shirt, and I liked the uh, the gray kind of earth tones, dark skin. He's got these parsnip seeds. We're just gonna toss those out right away. I'll hang on to them. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna be like one to throw away anything, but uh, do we have the recipe for the chest? We do. Okay. So the rules regarding some of these things here, I should pull it up so I have it handy. Um, let me pull it over here on the side. Um, the rules I'm going off of are in the description of the video if you're curious. Um, but the the main things are that my money can only come from mining, as we said, in combat. So selling monster drops is fine. It's kind of a warrior dwarf kind of a playthrough. Um, the other things are that I cannot chop down any trees that are outside the farm. So this is all of the wood I get. I can shake trees outside the farm, but I can't chop them down. And uh, I'm not allowed to fish. Um, I'm allowed to have animals, but only one of each type. And I'm gonna say one of each type, the brown and the, the white chickens are two different types. But the fact with those is I cannot use those drops that they give for anything. Um, it is solely to be uh, complete the community center, which again, I think if we do Jojo Mart, we might not even need animals um, as an income source. I mean, you can't use it, use it for income anyways, is what I'm saying, but um, you can use it for cooking, technically, uh, based on my rules here. So uh, cooking, it says my rules are basically that you can um, you can eat things that are cooked. You can't eat raw vegetables or foods. You have to cook them, and to cook things, they need to have at least two ingredients. Um, so you can't just have like a single thing and call it cooked. Um, to be considered a cooked food, uh, it needs to have at least two ingredients. Um, and I would even say two different ingredients. So like using like a sashimi recipe isn't good enough. You have to have two different items included. Uh, did that cut out? Okay, it did a little bit there. Okay, no problem. Um, so we got our first geode, first of many. And we don't have, we have a little bit of cash to start out with here so we can actually um, use that. Uh, clay is okay to sell because it comes out of the ground. Meanwhile, also the um, artifacts are okay to sell. We're just gonna amass some things right now. So I need to build, see, I should have gotten some wood right away here because now I'm gonna just be dropping stuff everywhere, but that's okay. I think we're just gonna leave it where it lies and pick it up later um, while we still have energy here. Getting food early on here is gonna be an issue. Um, my restrictions on food uh, being that they have to be cooked, one of the first things we'll get access to is the, um, the first thing we'll probably get access to is the uh, field snack, probably but I don't even know if we'll be able to get that. The first thing we'll actually probably have reasonable access to is the cave carrot. And I think that the way I'm working this is that cave foods, anything found in the caves, um, even though it wouldn't necessarily apply to the rules, it is okay if it comes from the caves. So like cave carrots would be okay as long as they're found in the caves. Um, but like uh, other things would not be. If I find a cave carrot anywhere else, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably fine too. I don't know. I really, I'm not really going to be hard and fast on the rules here, but I do want to keep it so it's focused on just combat and mining and no focus on farming at all. Um, see how far we can get without farming. Now, I have a situation here where I need to get these things picked up. And I need to make a chest so I can have more things. I don't want to throw anything just yet. Um, my rules are going to be that I can chop down any trees on the farm but I can't chop down trees off the farm. However, I can chop down any stumps I see or any uh, any uh, sticks I see or branches on the ground I can see. I see. So I can chop those for uh, food or food. I can chop those for, for wood, um, but once the trees are gone on the farm, I can't get any more of them. So I need to plant more and grow more, which is gonna limit my wood supply as well quite a bit. So I won't be able to speed through this. Unless I unless I get mine wood. So the mine the mine has, you know, depending on where we go and what we find, we'll have ample wood available there too. So um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this and do this. There we go. And now we can put things away and not have to worry about carrying around these parsnips forever. I can't sell those off because they wouldn't technically qualify. Um, same with the fiber here. We'll just keep that for crafting. Uh, these will get the recipe for the... Uh, we'll get recipes for the copper ore tomorrow, I believe, after after Clint 
finds out about us. I could go smash one of these geodes right away. It's only 11 o'clock. Go donate this to the museum. I don't know if it'll be actually be open yet. And I'm going to sell this clay off right now. It's like it's a good source of money early on here. Um, because we can get it pretty easily and that should be pretty good. So I'm going to, I'm going to head over to the, the mine again here and let's not waste too much time. I mean, it's such a long walk too. Um, we won't waste, we won't spend too much time there right now because we can always come back here at night and do more if I have energy remaining, but that's going to be the big, my big thing I'm up against right now is the energy. Um, clearly I need to get my pick, my axe and pickaxe upgraded here. First and foremost, so I get most of the stuff cleared. Um, the watering can I can just throw away right away. I'm not even going to need it at all this playthrough, I'm hoping. Um, and really, we can't really start with the main quests until like day three or four when the community center really opens up and then we can have the, we can do the Jojo one for 5,000. We can go that route too. So we'll have to make a choice. Not just yet. We won't make a, we won't make a hard fast choice just yet, but I'm definitely let you guys know I'm definitely leaning towards Jojo Mart this time around. Um, just because it'll be, uh, I think, more interesting to gather money than trying to make it work with the community center. So that's just my take on it. Um, let's grab the rest of these geodes and call it a day over here. And then we'll go see Clint quickly if I get over there quickly enough. Come on, smash it. There you go. And then hopefully I have just enough energy and time to get there. He closes at four, I believe. So I probably can make it. All right, let's head. Let's go, go, go. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Um, this doesn't take any stamina, so I'm just gonna use that for now to get around. And this fiber is actually pretty useful in the game. They've, they've, they've really stepped up the fiber game, I feel like. The fiber's way more useful than it used to be. Especially my tree, I did a lumberjack playthrough, not, not on camera, but I did it uh, on my own. And uh, the lumberjack played through the the, the the plant fiber was hugely helpful. Once we got the the tree growth, uh, once we got the tree growth recipes uh, for the tree fertilizer, that was just that was super helpful for a, a lumberjack playthrough. Makes a tree only take like a week to grow now. All right, so we have the calendar. Let's access that. I'm not going to talk to anybody in town just yet. Um, we will try to become friends. I think that's one of the goals. I think I'm going to try to hit to, I'm going to try to get to six friends, six friends at six hearts by the end of the year. It shouldn't be too tough, but when you, when you consider that my, my options for gifting are going to be limited, um, it might be tough to make that many friends. There's a couple of people I do know that like gems though, so that could work. Um, so we're going to process these geodes, sir. Oh, I don't have room for things. <sighs> Yeah, he's not gonna let me do that, is he? All right, so let's see. Okay, let's go to Gunther first. Let's see if he will let me visit. Actually, he might not just yet. Oh, hi, Gunther. Hi. All right, I'm here. Give me to work, man. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. What's his voice? I don't know. He's wearing a denim, den a denim, uh, actually kind of like a combination of a Canadian tuxedo and, um, like, like General Custer, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Remarkable! It's very old. I'd love a study of this in greater detail, but it is yours. You can have it, it's garbage to me. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating new artifacts or minerals you find? We could make groundbreaking discoveries together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Okay, sure. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. All right, we're good. All right, so I will donate to the museum to clear up some space in my inventory. And just like so, I'm gonna go, where should I put these? I like to have a kind of order to things when I put them in here. Um, it doesn't seem like anything. I don't. Uh, okay, let's trash some things I'm not going to need. I'm not going to need this. I don't need the three wood. I want to get these geodes processed immediately to get that progressing forward. And let's just see what we get here. Because I can I can maybe process some of these geodes and sell some of these things off too. Coal's good. I can have nearly enough of that. That's awesome. I don't mind that at all. Keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. All right, donate that. Donate that. And then once I do that, all these geodes will just 
produce like more money for me. Like these things don't sell. They're not. They're not too bad. If I what's the shop say on these? So it sells for 125, 120, and 100. I mean that's not bad. If I can get a few geodes a day, I mean some of it's going to the uh, the cost of breaking them, but eventually I'll get the ability. Well, I got nothing to fall, I suppose. Not for a while yet. Um. All right. So let's put these down here. Uh, one thing I tried to do on a playthrough is try to make it like color coordinated. I might continue to try that. Um. I'm going to put like more magical stuff up there, I think. We'll see how that goes. There's probably a way to make it look nice. I've never actually completed the museum, pretty sure. There's so many things in this game I have not done. Um, that's one of the reasons I wanted to get back into it so hard, because it was like, there's just things I need to do still. Like, I haven't done almost any of the, the later game content now in the game. Um, that we'll worry about later. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about anything else down here. Willie's not even here yet, so I can't even get a fishing rod. Not that I need it. Uh, hi, Elliot. I'm introducing myself to people around town. Checking the garbages. Being a monster. Talking to Maru. Hi, Maru. I'm looking forward to meeting you. Oh, I've heard so much about you too. Why, hello. Welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Are you? Are you actually my grandmother? I never met my grandmother. And my grandpa used to live here. Maybe she's actually my grandmother. Hello, you must be Gr Gran Granron. The new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store. Have you met him? Any, have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with purple hair. Hmm. Let's go introduce ourselves. Certain people like, like Abigail will be easy to befriend because she has uh, a taste for amethyst. Uh, hi, hello, nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. I don't really have a choice in the matter, honestly. I get here when I get here. Oh, I gotta talk to Pierre. Pierre! Hey, it's Granron, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll buy produce from you for a, for a good price. You know, sir, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna be actually frequenting the Joja Mart to uh help them out honestly i mean i don't like to me the, 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 there's no difference between pierre and the jojo mart honestly oh that's right i heard someone new was moving down to the fold farm it's me it's kind of a shame really i enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself oh you can certainly do that they're gonna stay overgrown my friend hi i'm sam good to meet you hi sam you don't have a lot to say i appreciate that about you all right let's go to uh join us thrive Fuel your life, Jojo Cola. Oh, hi, Shane. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Well, he's hardly working. Welcome to Jojo Mart. How are you doing today? I don't believe we've met. Mime Morris, a Jojo customer satisfaction representative. When you decide you want to become a Jojo member, I'll be delighted to make your transition a joyous experience. All right. Well, take him up on that, maybe. Just maybe. Okay. So let's uh, let's get out of here. There's nothing good for us here at all. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, did we met everybody else yet? Archaeology gets a few bucks. Okay, we're off to the races, getting some cash, cultivating <laughs> harvest of parsnip is not going to happen. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. I'm not farming anything. I will uh, get a parsnip by other means, I'm sure, but not this one. All right, so it's locked. I can't do anything with that right now. Not that I will. I wonder what happens if you tr if you don't ever, I guess is there a way to ever not activate that? I guess you have to activate that. I was wondering if there's a way to complete the Jojo Mart without um, activating the, the community center. Have you met everyone in town yet? It sounds exhausting. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. <laughs> um, Local scientist and like, uh, it's a weird to combine those two things. Local scientist and farmer, or local scientist and father. Like, uh, you're a local father. I'm not good enough friends with Demetrius or Robin. That's right. We will be eventually. Where's my man Linus, buddy? How you doing, man? stranger hello don't mind me i just live out here alone 
What has he got in here? Anything? He's got a pile of wood. He's got a sleeping bag. It's all he needs in life. He's got a little journal there, too. Oh, we should probably read his secrets in his journal. All right. So the... Uh, oh, there's uh, Shabat Sebastian. Sebastian. Hey, Sam. How you doing? Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Oh, actually, I didn't choose it. I inherited a rather large estate, to be honest with you. So I'm doing all right for myself. Doing all right for myself. Um, Do I want to do anything else? My energy is so low. There's nothing I can do or eat or really anything at this point. Um, uh, Yeah, I don't have anything that would be helpful. So, all right. I am, energy is going to be a struggle early on here for sure, as it always is, even more so in this playthrough, because there's just nothing I can eat. Um, so let's go back to the farm, and let's just use up just a little bit more energy, break a few more rocks, clear the path a little bit so it's easier to get back and forth from the, um, so it's easier to get back and forth from the house to the rocks. So we pick those up. All right. So we have not much of note. So one of the rules I do have is that, uh, so like, let's say sap, let's say I have a lot of sap that I want to get rid of, um, or, or whatever, something I can't technically use because of the rules of the playthrough. I am allowed to trash it and I can use the trash, uh, upgrades to get some money back from those things. So I get like, I think with the copper level, it's like, like 10% only. So it's not even like much. Oh, monsters. And I have no way of dealing with them just yet. I have this. This is good enough. Actually, this is better. This is as good as the wooden sword is or the rusty sword is. This guy's tough though. Nice. So he gave me rice shoots. Now, I don't think that really would be I don't know if that would be considered monster loot. It is something monsters drop. And so in that regard, it, it, it would be. But is it though? Slimes. Let's kill those slimes. So I have a couple things I have for goals for the series for sure. I want to get through the first year at least. I want to get the, um, I want to get Jojo Mark done for the, in the first year if I can. Um, I want to get, it's a lot of money to earn. Uh, I want to get the, uh, I want to get the all of the gills combat challenges done in the first year, which will be a difficult task. But if I'm doing mostly combat all day, every day, it's going to be OK. Um, my energy is so low and it's getting late. I should probably head back home just because I don't want anything to kill me out here. Again, I don't have any healing or anything like that. Let's kill anything we see, though. This honestly makes a decent weapon early on here. See, I, this one, like the rice shoots are technically not something I would consider monster loot, but it, the monster did drop them. So that's where it's kind of the iffy kind of thing. I'm going to hang on to them for now. They probably don't sell for a whole lot anyways. All right. And let's throw these things in here that I'm not going to need. Uh, I think the rest of this I will need to hang on to, but the watering can I definitely won't. All right, let's get home. I do love that I picked this uh, this particular farm that has the um, this is the, I, I forgot how the inside of this looked, so this is actually perfect for the for a, a dwarf like me. All right, a shard of knowledge in the future. Extra humor today. I think the um the first day was that that I didn't mean to do the same one twice there. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Living off the land. All right. So this is a cool little thing. I like this. I wish we could learn how to craft this. This would be cool to have. I want more of those. Like that's what we use to like light the ways and stuff. Okay, level one mining, day one. Love it. I love it. All right. Good start. Good start. Good start. And I think if I'm if I remember correctly, any any copper we picked up should trigger Clint to come visit us. So we gotta make sure we get that. This farm is actually a pretty decent uh, farm then, because you can get a lot of stuff done right away. Hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open, finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of ores you find, you'll find your furnace. Just so happens I have an extra set of blueprints lying around. 
Here, I want you to have them. Thanks, Clint. You're a real man. The furnace allows you to smelt bars. You don't say. All right. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Oh, you want me to work. You want me to give you some work. I see. Of course you do. Of course you do. Why wouldn't you? All right. What do we have for? We have that. We have that. We have not enough to make it, though. We need 25. So I'll get that right now. So let's go make a spot clear over here for that. Oops. Let's clear this area over here for all those. We're gonna need a lot of these. I would say like 10 eventually. But for now, we need the we need the we need the bars and we need to get the upgrades for the pickaxe. If we get the pickaxe upgrade before we even get to the mines open, that'd be amazing. It would be it would suck to have to give up a, a pickaxe day though. Uh, keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does that sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. All right, Pierre, thanks. Uh, back from my fishing trip. Okay, thank you, Willie. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, we're at 14. We need 10 more, 11 more. All right, let's clear off the path over to the over to the uh, area there. I don't know what the best way to get there is going to be. There's so much of this farm that gets locked down. With these narrow, narrow bridges, no, no way through. We got to get this uh, upgraded. This is a, this is the steel upgrade. It's not even um, not even uh, the the first level, the copper level. Hey Thorn, how's it going? Uh, my mug of the day is one of your favorites. Probably is your favorite. Your personal healthcare companion. Ooh. Gotta remember to hit the escape before I start drinking coffee, so it stays uh. Time stopped. How you doing, Thorn? Welcome. All right, let's break some stuff. We need five more. So I'm glad the monster spawned. That was great. Um, I wish we had the sword already, but... Uh, so let's do this and I can make two right away then. No, I can't. Do I have another... I don't think I have enough for two. I'll make, I'll get 50 just so I can have the stone for two, but uh, I don't think I have enough copper for two. Now, one thing I think I can do, if I need more money, I could, I could till soil. And tilling soil has a chance to produce clay, which I, I consider a, a mineral, so that would be sellable. It is a waste of my energy for the most part, and but it does sell for more than than stone does. Stone sells for like one, clay sells for twenty. So each one of these is worth twenty, and I usually find them in pairs. So I think I will get the hoe upgraded eventually. It takes a little bit of energy, but not that much. All right, so we got fifty. We can make. I can only make one at the moment, but we should make one just to do it, and then we got to smelt the bar next. And I have five actually, so that's perfect. But I can make my first bar. Might as well. It's a cross between Eva and Bay. Boom. All right. Yeah, it's a it's a tie. Yeah. They're both very good mugs. I haven't found anything fun lately. I got a couple mugs when I was on my trip here, but or I got one actually, but it wasn't. It's not very exciting. I probably won't use it on stream. Just a souvenir mug, not like anything, nothing cool. All right, let's do this some more. I want to see if this works because this is actually because I need the stone to to build stuff. So this might be the best way of getting uh, stuff. And actually, I could run around and go for the the little uh, stick sticking up. Let's go look for those up here. There might be, uh, there might be. See, I don't need this stuff. I'm just gonna grab it and I don't know, do what with it though. I can't sell it. I can't cook with it. I might as well just toss it. Get the, get the foraging level, but not like, cause there are recipes that it unlocks. I mean, that would be good. 
However, I can't um, do anything with it. Actually, what I could do, I could go talk to Willy quick and get the uh, fishing pole. Um, as far as fishing goes in the game here, my rules are that fishing is only a hobby. Um, so I have to, I have to get there before five. Um, I can only fish five fish per day above ground. So once I find the underground areas to fish in, then I can fish as much as I want to um, and sell those fish too. But like the, the cave fish that he catch. However, above ground, I can only catch five of a day and I have to, I cannot use those for food. I cannot use those for, um, I cannot use those for gifts and I cannot use those for selling. So I can't really do anything with them. So that's kind of how that works. Hi there, son. Are you my dad? I'm still trying to unwind after a month out in the salty seas. But it was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. How? How are you? You're you're a fisherman. You're fishing with a rod out there? I like. Why wouldn't you be using nets? Who? Who are you? That's insane. There's good water here in the valley, all kinds of fish. It's eerie how many kinds of fish there are actually. There shouldn't be this many kinds of fish locally. My shop's back open now. If you need supplies, yada, 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 yada. If it sell, smells, it sells. Hey, my old pappy used to say that, ha ha. All right, thanks. Thanks, Willie. You're, you, made it, you made it weird. Thanks so much for that. This, uh, this haircut reminds me of Chrono Trigger. Boulder for a strike? Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That's exciting. Was she excited about that? Or just like excited for anything to happen? It's surprising. I, I took my kids bowling and uh, the little one got a, a strike, you know, one of his first first outings with it. And uh, yeah, it was very exciting for him too. It's fun. I like bowling. Classic Americana bowling. Also, it's kind of global too. I would, there was bowling in in other countries. It's not as as big, I think, as it is here. You're the new farmer, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. But like, I was in Ireland, and there's bowling alleys there. I think the pins are different or something. It's not the it's not the it's not the uh, American bowling style. With a 10 pin, like a 9 pin, maybe? I'm not even sure. I gotta do everything a little different. Alright, so this takes care of that quest. I don't know if I get money for it or not. I get nothing. Cultivate a parsnip. Alright, let's put this in here for now. Let's sell these off. Let's hang on to that. The clay, I'm not gonna need for anything until I need to build a coop, which won't be for a while. I'm not gonna spend money on that right now. All right, so let's put that away for now. I'm not gonna do any fishing. She doesn't get the idea of knocking them all down. Well, you know. She'll learn in time. All right, so let's take a look at the note. Wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. All right, Grandpa. From beyond the grave, he still torments me. That would be honestly really freaky, right? Like, your grandfather leaves a note for you that's basically like, wait for my second coming. In three years, I shall return. Like, okay, Grandpa. 
Whatever you say, man. Since this doesn't take up any energy, I'm just doing this. Uh, it doesn't give me any skills or anything like that either. Just gonna clear up the way a little bit. I don't remember how many days it takes for the mines to open. We should get to it tonight. I started a little bit early, so we have extra time. Yeah, bowling family. Yeah, I, should, I, I would like to be a bowling family. I would, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to do a league. I might just see if there's like a, a league for parents and kids maybe or something like that. I'm not like super good at bowling though. I'm okay. Oh, you have to be. Oh, we haven't gone down this way yet. Let's go this way first. And let's see if we can get Shane. Let's see if we can get all the kid, the kids over here. The wizard we can't meet yet until we see the community center. Well, that's right, like, uh, yeah, I don't know what you'd have to do. I was just thinking like if you completed the Joja Mark quests before you got the community center. Actually, I don't think you can. I think the queen, the community center doesn't the 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 membership deal doesn't start until after you get the community center um, access. So you couldn't really complete the Joja Mark quest before you grew up in a bowling alley. It's awesome. That would be amazing. I would have loved that as a kid. Hey, Zero. Welcome. Yeah. I spent a lot of time. My parents were always in bowling leagues, so I spent a lot of time at the bowling alleys as a kid. Um, but yeah, that'd be that. I never like like was taught how to bowl, but figured it out. I mean, the best I could for my kid, my parents. Like, I don't know a whole lot about bowling, but I'm okay. I'm okay. But yeah, they had like a daycare at the bowling alley for like the league games. So like my mom would drop me off there and go play on Tuesdays or whatever. A lot of fun memories hanging on the basement of the bowling alley. This again is just for the um, forging experience, I think. Or just so we have something to do. You can't eat any of this stuff. You're creating your own challenge? What do you have in mind? I've been looking at a lot of these things. Um, like different kinds of challenges people have done and are doing. I like it. I like I like adding some extra complications to, to games like this. Especially when I've played this game so many times. There's still like there's still stuff I don't know in the game. Like I haven't played through the entire game ever. Um it really doesn't end. But there's still a lot of things I haven't seen before. So that'll be exciting when we get to it. If I get to it, hopefully. Oh, but it's selling stuff for school easily. Oh yeah, I bet. Just like go to like all the leagues and have them buy candy bars. You just put them out front and be like, hey, buy some candy bars. The prepper challenge. Oh, interesting. So like a, a doomsday uh, thing. Prepping for the apocalypse. Uh, I'll hang on to these. There's not much I can do with them, I'm thinking. Let's sell these off because it's another 60 bucks right there. It's money's tight right now. Money's tight. I gotta I gotta take what I can get. Um oh, you know what? The only thing I might need. Oh, I don't have a pet yet. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I need to fill up that bowl, but I don't even have a pet yet. So that'll come soon. Uh let's see, I have a little bit of energy left. Let's just knock out a few more of these. And then let's start waiting for the uh enemies to show up here. All right, let's go hang out over here and wait for those to show up. It's not 8, 9 p.m. We should see a couple at least, I would think. Oop, there he is. Is there a bat coming? Oh, there he is. So one of the rules with this is that there's restrictions on how much I can eat in a day. Um, I can only have five meals per day. 
And so that encourages me to be careful and to make better meals. So I, when I, when I went, well, it makes me be careful, but then at a certain point, like I have, I have to like wait to, I can't just heal all the time. I have to wait till I absolutely need to heal. Um, so it will have a little bit of danger included to it too. Come on. Bring it. There we go. Two. All right. Nice. I can sell those off for some cash too here too. Um, so yeah, like, like I have to, I have to like manage my health carefully. If I get hit, there's bigger consequences because I have to, I can only have, so my rules are I can only have, uh, five meals a day for health. And then, um, after that, I have to, if I, if I need energy, I can eat as much as I want, but my health has to be full already. So I can't just eat and eat and eat. I can eat for energy, but not for health. So if I get hit, um, it's bad. Any, any damage at all limits how much I can actually heal. Doomsday, yes, rules are no selling of anything food related. You may buy one of any crop, but that's it. Every other seed must be found or grown. Parsnips are given. Yeah, that's, that's a cool idea. It's like, no, it's like a no. I've seen people do like a no Pierre challenge. We're not allowed to. Um, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to shop at Jojo or Pierre's like a boycott Pierre challenge. I've seen those kinds of things. It sounds similar. But I think the uh, the advantage, or the, the additional thing of no selling food, means you're gonna have to look for very lots of alternate ways to make money. I like that. It's a good idea. It's cool. All right, let's throw these things in here. Um, I can't really do anything else with anything else. So let's let's go to sleep. It's eleven forty. Let's go to sleep. All right, day two down, and we got foraging level one. The field snack. Now, this would qualify as a food, a legal food for the game, for the playthrough here, because it is a three ingredient recipe for crafting. So I could get those and make those. But um, again, I can't chop down trees outside of the farm. So if I need I need wood, I have to plant it and grow it on the farm. I can't um, I can't go outside and get stuff. So I need to be careful about how much I'm using my seeds for that kind of thing. Uh, weather report for tomorrow is beautiful and sunny, and luck today is going to be neutral. All right. What's going on today? Um, let's go take a look and see if any more stuff showed up at the, the hill. And I'm trying to make the path easier every single day, little by little. So like getting these out, if I use this, actually, I take that back. I think these, so this can get us some extra seeds that I can use to make food. All right, no ores here, but it did give me enough. I like that it gave me exactly enough to uh, get the one bar and the furnace made the first day, which is cool all this out this is at least giving us the double uh stones here for the most part these circle ones especially and they give us coal too sometimes i think it's like maybe like friday is when the mine opens up i'm not even sure all right so that's that permadeath oh yeah i love that no passing on the mines or outside oh that's a great idea and no Joja, big no. Okay. And two of every animals be bought. Oh, that's fun. Got mods to help you buy things on the farm. Okay, that's cool. So like no leaving the farm basically. And permadeath. That's, that's great. That sounds like it'll be a nice challenge. I need one of each, right? Yeah. So I can shake these trees and try to get one. It's rare for them to drop. Um, but possible. I don't know if I'd ever do a permadeath run. Not on the, maybe on the channel. I don't know. 
It's like too easy to stay alive though. I would I would say maybe a realism aspect of it too. Maybe like there's I saw a realism challenge somebody had put together, which was like you have to eat three meals a day. Um there might be a mod to help you accomplish that too if you wanted to have like some type of like uh survival type of uh challenges to it. Okay, there's one of those. I mean we won't ever run out of seeds. Because we can always go shake trees outside and find find uh seeds outside, but it's gonna be way inconvenient. I have to start looking for seeds. Still, I think I should ch chop down as many as I have energy for right now. Because we will need wood for all kinds of stuff. Especially to build the... Um, I guess we don't really need to worry about the bridge between, though. I was thinking the, the bridge between the, the two little islands there. You can go off the farm and buy from shops. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, inventory full. Okay. That's fine. All right, so let's toss that out. Got those down. Okay, good. Mixed seeds. I'm not going to really use those for anything. I can't grow with them. Um, and I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm just going to save them for crafting later. In case I need to plant grass. Or plant fiber, or whatever it's called. Oh, you have to eat, but you eventually start slowing down to take damage. Oh, that's great. Yes, that's that's exactly the kind of thing you need. That sounds good. Just seeing if I can tilt up any uh, random clay. Um, let's see. Let's get this one. Let's get this one. Check this guy. Oh, my energy is almost gone, so I gotta be careful how much I go here. Okay. So we can go craft these into bars. And I need more of them acorns. That's okay though. All right. Should I eat one day? Ah. I don't know. I'll hang on to it. Today's gonna be another day. All right. We can take this down to Gunther. My energy's almost gone. It's only 12:30 though. That's the thing. Like maybe I do do want to do it. Let's see what how much energy this gives me. Not bad. Not great. Not bad. All right. Let's go to Gunther's and shake trees along the way. Great to have mining level two before you even get into the mines. Allow a bigger backpack because getting a backpack mining seeds up bring tools level to level. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense to have a bigger backpack. A little bit of trade off there. trash we're not above that um doo -doo 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 -doo. let's see i could go check the beach to see if there's anything i could till there that's technically allowed all right let's put this over here all right and we got a reward we got cauliflower seeds. Great. A mod that allows stealing from shops. That's awesome. There better be like consequences for getting caught. Like a, a stealing skill. That'd be great. Would love to see that. Roll for sleight of hand. Check. All right, that's good. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any reason. Oh, actually, the only reason I would do this then is to get like these kinds of things, but not that big a deal. 
All right, let's go to the south side here. How, who else do we need to meet still? I met Willie, met Pierre. Uh, we haven't met Ra. We haven't met. Uh, oh, what's her name here yet? Right. Emily. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon where I work. Oh, yeah, I should go over there. You can get banned for a few days and dip money as well. Oh, that's fun. I guess that gets around the whole shopping thing. You're not technically shopping. You're just shoplifting. And then, uh, I mean, getting banned, you don't really care either way. So that's not bad. Hello, Gus. I'm going to come around and talk to you now, okay? Well, hello there. I'm Gus, the chef and owner of Star Drop Saloon. All right. I like I like the idea of money getting taken too. That's a little fine they impose. Be great. All right, who else do we need to talk to? Um, Harvey. Where's Harvey? Who's over there yesterday? I didn't talk to him though. They close at three. Ah, uh, he's usually at the saloon. Actually, I take. I think we can find him in there in the evening. So we'll just take a look over there. Um, have we met these guys yet? I don't think we have. They should be home. They should be home here. Hey, how's it going, kid? A stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. I also just walked into your house. So like, hey, you guys are friendly, right? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I, I feel like there should be like a, a, some type of playthrough where it's restricted. You can't just like walk into people's houses. Wait till 5 p.m. to steal. Yeah. Get them out of there. I feel like it's just odd to like walk into people's houses and be like, hi. Huh, you're the new guy, huh? Cool. Hey, kid, my name's Pam. Don't be a jerk. We'll get along fine. I like Pam. She's a straight shooter. Did I meet Penny yet? I don't even know. See, I just walk into her house. Like, hi, you, I can call you Granny, right? Hmm, it's irritating to ever meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. All right, sir. Can I go talk to Penny? Hi, Penny. Oh, hello, I'm Penny. That's all. I just walk into your trailer. Like, here comes a random dude off the street into your trailer. Like, what do you even do with that? Who is this guy? Just barges in. I mean, it's classic RPG. Like you walk into somebody's house and like open all their chests, steal their, ch their steal, steal the items on their treasure chests, and then uh, smash all their pots and then walk out. It's the uh, same mentality there. Could I buy a Joja Cole from this? A oh, 75 bucks. Ugh. All right, that's expensive. Hi Shane. Hmm. Weather makes me thirsty. Oh Harvey, hey, I need to meet you too. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents in Pendleton Town. It's rewarding work. Uh, I didn't see what that part was said there. Okay. Oh, well. Um, okay. I think that gets us pretty close. Introductions. 26 of 28. Who would I be missing still? Abigail? There's a game that jokes about the... Yeah, I think, like, there's something like Evil Land... Evil Land probably does it, maybe. Um... I'm trying to think of other games. There's been a couple games that have done it like that. Like, you can't just walk into people's houses and steal stuff. Yeah. It's a good trope to play on. Um, I met Jody. The wizard doesn't count, I'm pretty sure. So, oh, Marnie and the girl, Jell, Jal, Jan, Jum, Jumbo, Jumbo. Um, oh, they don't let you in. That'd be great. You just walk into somebody's house and you're like, no, get the hell out of here. Yeah, excellent. This is like, it's assumed like you're, I'm a hero. I'm an RPG hero. I'm allowed to break, break into people's houses. Is this, this is going to be locked up already. Open till six. All right. Wednesday, so there's nothing really to do down there. Um, I'm going to look around the grass here for sticks to, to bop. I'm going to bop some sticks. Even though we all know they're worms. 
Concerned apes said they're sticks. Even though they wiggle, they're, they're, they're sticks. They're not worms, apparently. And this isn't any, right? No, they're not. Okay. All right. So I should have took the fishing rod out, I suppose. Just done a little bit. I guess I could do that, but hobby fishing, right? Well, I'm all low on energy, though. So maybe if they don't get carried away. Oh, I could go fight things. That'll give me a little more cash. Um, we really need the mind to open up. So I have something to do with my days. We're an hour in. So that's good. Break some more rocks. Oh, Geo, nice. All right, let's do like five more. Watching Avatar, The Last Airbender. Oh yeah, I love that show. I, have to, I watch it like maybe like, I, I rewatch it like maybe once a year, I think. Um. The Haunted Chocolatier? Yes, definitely. I'm going to play that when it comes out. For sure. For sure. I will definitely be involved with that game. If if and if and when it comes out. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a few years down the road still. I mean, uh Concerned Ape is a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff, which is fine. He's going to he makes good games. So, um this time around, it won't take as long as... I don't think it'll take as long as Stardew Valley did. It'll still take a long time. But Stardew Valley, he was learning how to code on the fly. Like, he was learning how to do this stuff as he was making it. So, Haunted Chocolatier, at least he knows what he's doing. Um, he's making improvements to the, the core, and he's, he's doing something different. But I think it'll be... won't take quite as long. That said... I mean, this took, what, like 10 years to make? So quite as long is still a big range when it comes down to it. I would imagine maybe five years or so, perhaps, before we can see any, like, playable anything from it. That's just a theory. Clear and sunny all day. Okay, I think we're going to rest. Let's do it. All right, is today the day where the mine opens up? Uh, fortunes? Somewhat perturbed. Not great. Beautiful and sunny. All right. Ms. RP group like to role play a lot, made a character's firebender who refuses to use her bending due to trauma in her past. That's cool. I like that. Robin here, no stone cutter, stone scattered around your farm. If surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed around your farm. That's expensive, and I don't, I don't, don't really need a well. Actually, if I was playing this farm legit, I probably would, because there's really no, I guess the river here is where you would get water from. That's cool. Yeah, I just started doing D&D a few weeks ago. Um, and it's uh, been a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying it. I never had played it before. And it's a, it's a similar thing. I have a, I have a warlock character, um, a, a packed warlock, and he's, uh, his deal is he was, he normally like packed warlocks were like trying to like make a pack with a demon to get power. But like in his case, it wasn't his choice. It just kind of took advantage of him and now he's just stuck with it. So it's kind of like, uh, he doesn't want to use the magic, but he, he kind of needs to. So it, um, you know, he's just like trying to trying to not fall into the traps of it. Then, you know, the more he uses it, the more powerful the, the demon gets. So that kind of thing. It's just getting started. We've done like maybe three sessions so far only. So and then we I had to miss the last one because I was in Vegas. But hopefully next Tuesday I'll be back with it, assuming everyone's on the same page again. We'll see. On the 5th. Alright, let's see. There's a lot of trauma to work with first. Yeah. Makes sense. It, it, it can, canonically fits. They talk about how, you know, fire is, uh, you know, 
can destroy, but it's also very uh, beautiful. And Aang, you know, struggled with his doubts about it as well. If you're, he had a incident, right? So, totally. That's such a good show. Such a good show. I don't know if there's anything quite like it. All right, so pack's basically full. Looking around for things to mine or break or dig. All right. So we'll get the sword then tomorrow and then go into the mines. Honestly, if there's not too much to do, I might just sleep it and then come back. Like, I'm not waste a whole lot of time here. There's not a whole lot of ways for me to make money at the moment. I could, like, work on friendships by talking to people, but, like, it's such a slow process of adding points on this way. It's a long, it's a long game to get friends that way. All right, let's go spend this energy breaking rocks in the... Do I have level two yet? Level one still. Okay, well, let's click level two. Let's get level two today. Let's break all the rocks we can until we're tired. And then, yeah. All right, let's 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 clean this path up a little bit more here. I wonder what routes I should go Um, for like the upgrades at level five and uh, 10. Like what, what uh, job path I should go. Actually, this is nice that in 1.5, you can actually change that now, I believe. You can just like respec again if you want to change your profession for like a fee i think like 10 grand maybe 100 grand something like that it's expensive but might be that not that expensive all right and there was nothing over here right we checked this this morning yes one of her she was born as the princess of the fire nation she has a brother uh azuka who's older younger sister Plus a regular getting ill. Oh, okay. I also liked, I also quite, uh, liked Korra quite a bit. Um, Legend of Korra was pretty decent. Like expanding the mythology and everything like that. Like it, 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 uh, it was cool. Totally was weird sometimes, but Overall, it was a pretty good show, I think. That's what I don't, I don't know. I think I've watched all of it. You started stream? You started streaming? Oh, there you go. Oh, cool. All right. Welcome to the club. Now you're my competition. Great. Just kidding. Um, that's great, Thorn. It's a fun hobby. I recommend it. Just don't like spend as much money on it as I have because I don't recommend that part of it. Like there's, you could do this a lot thriftier than I have done it. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, if you need like advice or anything like that, I'm always down. So we got a little bit of energy left. Let's clean this up here. And then the real fun begins tomorrow. The last day of uh, easy work. Hopefully we get a lucky day tomorrow too. That'd be great. Uh, great timing. We'll, we'll prep too. We'll break. We'll. We'll bring uh, stuff with us and everything. I'll gather all the um, seeds I can. There we go. Shaking the trees without wasting energy.
You don't have the money. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to like. Uh, you don't have to. You don't really can. You can just stream pretty cheaply these days. There's a lot of affordable options for things. And get some decent sounding like streams and quality and all that. Without spending a whole lot of money. Alright. So we have four of those. That's that's my five meals then I can have during the day. It's perfect. Alright, and anything else I can sell off here right now? I guess I can oh I can't do it. I'm not gonna make it over there right now for that geode. Okay, well we're doing alright with that then. Um I think Let's just take a let's take a quick trip up here and look for any uh, uh sticks. There aren't really too many in spring. I'm hoping this playthrough like takes off though, like uh, really really speeds along here once we start getting into the mining area. I don't usually have such a focus as uh, this playthrough is going to be. Get to work, man. Get to work. You do Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, very niche. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, so honestly, like a niche is is really good um, to find, like especially something you can be like, you know, knowledgeable about and, and make entertaining, like something to know a lot about. Like I... I've done variety for so long, it's just gotten my, uh, my viewers are all over the place. So I want to get more focused. I am working on a second channel, though, where it will be a much more focused channel. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but I will uh, announce it when it's ready, and I'm starting to post content on it. I may have mentioned it in the past. I'm not going to get into it right now, because I don't want to feel uh, pressured into working on it <laughs> just yet. But I have done a little work on it and it's going to be much much more focused and this will i'll continue to work on this channel too like i'll continue to post stuff when i uh find interesting games to cover and i'll do the streams over on this channel still the main channel is not going anywhere it's just well it's going nowhere let's say but it's going nowhere fast but it is not gonna Stop going nowhere fast. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. And that's exactly what I mean. Oh, that's my energy. Okay. And I don't want to waste those uh, meals there. So I'm going to save the rest of it. It's early. Thursday night. Calling it a day at 6.50 p.m. No big deal. All right, let's get some sleep so we get full energy for tomorrow. And call it a night. All right. So, we have... How did we do on rocks, first of all? We have 161, okay. And value Jojo Mart customers. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation, yada, yada, yada. We can go into the mine. All right. Bring the food, leave this, leave this. Just take this and this. Actually, even leave this. Just bring this and the sword, and then I'm good. All right, let's do it. Now the real fun begins. We can get, you know, get our hands dirty. Get way down in there. So I am not allowed to gift anybody anything in the game here um, that isn't from the mines. So I can only do ores, gems, or anything else I find under that may that they might want um, when I'm trying to make friends. Um, luckily, a lot of them like gems, so that's good. Um, actually, I think pretty much everyone likes them. I don't think anybody hates them. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, I don't have my thing. Oh, well. All right, let's get in there and have a conversation with Gil. 
and tell him we're worthy of the Adventurer's Guild. Alright. Hmm. I was just peering into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Decades? How old is this town? Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid, ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You may need it. Alright. You've received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. All right, so prove myself. I have to get down to level five. All right, we got that. Doesn't seem, oh, we gotta do this first. Classic, all right. All right, let's do this. Let's get these first, because these are worth a lot of experience, I believe. More experience than other ones are. Um, and then I like to go by color. I don't know, there's no system to it. It's all random, but I just you know feel like the color way is the best way. Oh, see, that was what I was trying to avoid. Ag so, Agni Kai happens when a character ends up losing control over lightning bending and injuring herself really bad in one of her arms. Ooh, interesting. Oh, that's good. I'm going to go kill these things, though, because I don't want to... Oh, I can I can grab all this stuff. I'm going to sell all this stuff. Now, the, the, the seeds I'll trash down here. Um, the... The slime will hang onto a cell. Um, should I break these as well? It's a lot of energy. Especially with this low-level pickaxe. I don't know. I might, I might, might, might wait on those for now. Even though there's a lot of stone you get from those, and probably a lot of experience. Oh, see, there's our first hardwood. Nice. Oh, we're at level three already. Not doing too shabby. All right. I'm gonna trash these since my pack's already full. And I believe. Hmm. These guys have a chance to drop crab. I wonder if that technically would be okay from the foods in the to eat with the uh do this. Ah, run! No, sorry, dude. See, like that, like, I can pick up that, I can eat that probably, technically, right? Oh, I could use it for the, the community center, though, too. Uh, I'm not doing the community center. I don't think I can. I think we gotta do Joja. One, I haven't done it before. Two, um, it'll just be simpler. I'd like to see what the, the quests are. Maybe. Without doing farming though, like I don't think there's a way to complete the community center. Her sister tried to stop the eggy kind and ended up getting hit in the middle of the chest. Oh. Damn, yeah, I would I would say it would be uh turn you off of firebending then. If that uh that happened. That's a that's a good backstory. I dig it. Alright, we're gonna go further. This I can't eat. This I can trash. That's not worth much. Um, 
everything else I kind of need, though. Yeah, the JoJo one is just money, um, which is fine. It's kind of what I'm after, I think, is just kind of a simple, straightforward, earn money playthrough. Back to full health and just about full energy. Is it full? Yep. Nice. So then when my energy is full, so like right now, there's a limit I have as far as a healing goes that I can only have five healing items per day. However, the um, it does not apply to... I'm going to toss this guy. Um, so if I have... If I, can, if I need energy, I can get more energy, but as long I have to have my, my health full if I want to eat more. So I need to eat better foods um, and also not get hit very often. It's a two-fold kind of rule there is the idea with it. Ooh, now I gotta make choices. Um, let's toss that. I'm not desperate to find wood right now. We have plenty of trees still at the farm for the time being. Great. Nice. Let's go to Lurk. That's fine. Hey, thanks for uh, chatting with me, Thor. Appreciate it. See, that's what I got to avoid is getting hit like that. I need more technique. Um... Only 250. We're doing great. Alright. Just gonna keep wandering around here. We're at seven, so we need to go two more. I don't have the ability to craft stairs yet. Not that I would in this case. That's a lot of stone. Do I did I accidentally find it already? There it is. Nice. Oh, this is a good one. get 10 floors down the first day I'll be very happy with that or more Okay, let's eat the field snacks, get the energy back. And then get that bomb, use that up, and then we'll grab the earth crystal. Come back. Let's go grab all this stuff. The bug meat's probably not worth a whole lot. And it's pretty plentiful, so I could trash that next. The stone is more useful than the, the uh, bug meat is, I feel like. Um, it probably sells for a little bit. So let's not give this to Gunther just yet because it's so common. Um, let's just do this and waste this right now. All right, grab this. We have two more floors to go. Actually, one more. Just the next one. Oh, this is good. Oh, it's got the door right there. Nice. Excellent, excellent. 
Another one of those. Ooh, cape cure too. Um, let's drop. Um, let's drop bug meat. Well, actually, let's drop whatever I have less of. Like the slime I have less of. Let's hang on to this, though, because I might just eat it on this floor. Before I go down the next one, and then we're already, you know. We're already at 10, then. Good first day, though. I should have level 2 combat for sure by this point. See, that's the kind of thing. It's a monster drop, so technically I could eat that. Eat the cake carrot. All right, because I'm at full health, it doesn't matter how many things I eat. Um, I can, I can eat as much as I want as long as it's just energy and not food, not health. All right, got that. A wooden blade. All right, so this is part of the remix, right? So I didn't get um, anything like too impressive but a wooden blade is good all right go five more maybe with no pack space it might be tough but well we have we have a door though let's grab all that i can though like this i gotta grab Dougie there. That's right. Good to have. Don't need it though. Nice. Like five geodes. It's great. All right. This area is infested, which means there's no. Oh, there's gonna. I'm gonna get a nice level up here. I think. I'll be disappointed if we don't go up two levels. Bug coming at me. Oh. A way down has appeared. Well, yeah, obviously. It's right here. All right, 13, two more. If I get to 15 the first day, I'd be amazed. I'm not going to waste time on that. So my strategy here is kill first because sometimes they'll drop the uh they'll drop the the dare stairway um, from one of those kills and then I don't have to worry about mining stuff. However, in this case they didn't. Let's do this. One more. We're gonna make it. Don't have a lot of time left, but we're gonna make it. Oh, there's topaz here too. All right, so now here's the question. Do I grab the topaz and drop the sword? The sword will sell for like 10 bucks only. As long as one of those those little bug swarms don't come at me, I'll I'll, I'll get through this. This is a great first day. Come on, here we go. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right. Let's get out of here. I can't get those. Um, all right, cool. I will come back here tomorrow. That was a good first day. All right, let's sell off everything I can. Let's sell off the bug meat. Let's sell off the amethyst. Let's sell off the topaz. Let's get as much cash as we can here right away. And then we can uh, 
sell off like this stuff is so common that doesn't matter i can sell it now it's only like 50 bucks on these but it'll be you know early game here that's a lot of money technically this i'll hang on to because it's gonna be rare to get those right now and this i'll kill Ooh, another one nice decent drop okay let's go drop things off in the bin uh, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. Oh, should I save these for gifts? Uh, nah, let's sell it for now. And then let's start these cooking. All right, looking good. All right, let's go. Call the night and rest. Okay, staircase recipe and pickaxe proficiency. And cut level one combat, very nice. And that's all we get. But let's see how we did on stuff today. So our earth crystal, our to topaz, quartz, amethyst, everything like that added up to only 500 bucks. That seems like a lot of stuff sold off for almost no money. All right. Now the problem today is that I don't have nearly as much uh, stuff. Displeased today. Difficult. That's okay. That can be more enemies, which means more... Um... More, uh... Potential, uh, le leveling. I see you've been exploring the old mine. You've got adventure spirit, as, as much as I can tell. Slay ten slimes you've earned in the adventure's guild. Okay, so I have to kill ten slimes. Which I've already done, but doesn't count. Um, I shouldn't build one more of these right away. All right, that's two staircases worth. Wouldn't be a bad idea to just use those, but I'll wait for now. 1600 is not quite enough to get, I think, that, I think it's 2000 for the first upgrade for the pickaxe. And the only thing that would suck about that is that I can't do anything those days. What I think I would do, what I think I might do is I would have a pickaxe free day where I try to go and use just try to get by with just cherry bombs and uh and staircases which means I get to do it on a lucky day because we'll have enough we'll have enough to make some progress there I think so I will do that in a moment here um we need to gather we so if we're gonna do that we need to gather up some supplies beforehand um let's see if i can get a let's see if i can get a uh field stack worth here while i'm cooking the rest of this up all right i got four there the cherry bomb recipe i don't have yet oh i do it's copper four and one coal okay so if i can make let's say Let's say 10. So I would need 40. I need 40, 40 ore and 10 coal. Hey, Ninja, how you doing, man? Welcome. Um, yeah, I think that'll be good. All right, let's head over to the mines. Thorn's down to lurking already. So she might not be around, but hello anyways. So the dwarf thing, the rules are down below in the description, but basically um, my character cannot do a lot of things. Um, my, my, I'm not allowed to farm basically, um, no fishing. I can sell things from the mine, uh, but I don't make any money from farming. I can't make any money from fish. I can't make any money from, uh, uh, pretty much like lots of different things. I can't also, I can not gift anything either. That's, that's not one of those things. So I can only really primarily give people stuff that I get in the mine. Um, the intention there is that I have to choose between money and, uh, friendship. And my character is probably going to choose money every time here. Just cause that's how he is. 
He's a dwarf. He digs too greedily and too deep. So they're displeased today. I'm gonna have a hard time, it looks like. Um, if we save up enough ore, so I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on getting the five. I have the five bars I need. Um, I'm gonna wait for a good luck day. And then I'm going to use the ore here to make a bunch of cherry bombs. I need 40. I'm going to set 40 aside. And come up with ch 10 cherry bombs. And see if we can get a few levels without a pickaxe. I mean, there'll be slower progress that day, but I think we can maybe do it. And we'll get, we'll get more along the way, probably. We're trying to slay 10 slimes here so we can get initiated uh, before the end of the day. Oh, nice. Got him just in time. Um, so it's, uh, it is going to be very combat focused, also very mining focused, obviously. Living the dwarven lifestyle. I was going to do like combat only, but then I was like, how can I, uh, how can I really do combat without like going to the mines? I have to be good at mining too. So it ended up being a little, like a little, it came out, it came out about from having an idea of doing both things. Combine those together. Should be a fun challenge, I think. And it actually, I honestly think it'll be kind of a quick challenge. Cause I'm so focused on like one thing that I'll be good at mining by the end of the first month here, you know? I'm also trying to be trying to be ruthlessly efficient here on things and just like sell off almost everything. I'm not going to worry so much about the museum for certain things until the money is like no longer an issue, which won't happen for a little while. Um, I'm not going to worry about gifting certain things or building friendships just yet. Nice. This is a good one. Gotta get him at least. So I'm allowed to sell off weapons, artifacts, uh, monster loot, and any gems or ore. Minerals of any kind. Ooh, wooden club. What's the damage on that? 9 to 16. It's slow though, right? Oh, it's a little slow. No, it's not. It's that bad actually. Oh, I love the sound it makes, too. Oh, that's a good move, too. I love that. I'm going to I'm gonna stick with this thing for sure. Oh, look up the knockback on that. Oh, that's so good. I love this weapon. All right. I need to slay 10 slimes. They just are opening at 2 o'clock, so I should be good here. Smacking bugs with a baseball bat. I love it. Ooh, I know what I'm going to do for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to make a chest and bring it over here. And honestly, I might bring over, I might bring over more stuff too. I might actually put my furnaces, like a set of furnaces over here. To, to gather ore while I'm mining. To like make, process the ore while I'm mining. I wonder if it's better to process the ore or sell the ore. If I start wanting to sell the copper, is it better to... That's got some reach on it too. Love it. That's good stuff. It's like a second, it's like two attacks for the price of one. Oh, I'm low on health. 
Holy cow. Um, this weapon is good and all, but I gotta be more careful. I need to be a lot, a lot more careful. Um, I can make bug steak. Do that. All right. And drop this too. That. I gotta keep going for now. Because I'm so close to getting to 20. Oh, we're gonna get coal right here. Um. Okay, let's do this and let's toss the rice shoots. Even though I think they technically are a monster drop. Um, you know, I should be able to sell those. Probably not worth a whole lot though. Yeah, I'll sell them if I know. I think it could be argued that's a monster loot. It was obtained from killing monsters. Oh, I got this one, of course, though, which is a terrible, a terrible level because uh, you have to run all the way around here. This might be a little bit too slow. I'm going to save this one for chopping these things down a little faster. I didn't get the 40 copper I was hoping for, but that's all right. Well, I, I want to get over there because that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of stuff. Holy cow. All right. I'm not going to be able to carry everything inside of there. Guaranteed. All right. Love it. Well, I can get rid of the bug meat. Cause we, did we sell off any of that yesterday? Is it in here? I don't think it is. There we go. All right, now. Okay, nobody to do with this stuff. Um, This I trash, it's only worth a couple bucks. The wood I pick up maybe, the, this I trash for now. Let's grab these cave carrots, use that to get some health back. Now we're at 20. Um, We should get over to the uh, adventurers guild before night I guess before it uh, get too late here oh I got a second club well we can sell it off to the adventurers guild as well all right actually maybe well, I was gonna say maybe I may hang on to it but I don't know I guess not um, also, it's not too late. Oh, I don't max with me. I was gonna say I could grab enough wood to uh, make a chest quick. That's all right. Hi there, folks. How you doing? All right, I'm gonna sell this wooden blade off. I'm gonna sell this wooden club off and just have the one thing. Uh, I can sell these slimes off right away. Silver Saber does eight to 15 versus the wooden club, which is nine to 16. So it's a little bit worse, but has defense on it. Um. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I think I'll wait. We're going to get so many things coming up here soon. And we have this one. It says we have 44 slimes killed, 45 insects. This is actually good. It counts the one I got from earlier. So that's great. I'm glad it still counts those. All right. Let's run back home quick. Drop some things off. The night is still young. Um. Grab the... Grab the... What are you doing? Oops, didn't mean to slice ya. I can't talk to her. Um, oh, just like Topaz? Let's give her one. 
Hey, how did you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Uh, all right, don't, don't eat it, please. Little weirdo. All right, so maybe just grab the wood out so I'm ready to go for tomorrow. Um, make sure I have five copper made up and then sell off everything else I can. These only sell for like 50 a piece, right? 16 of those, nice. Um, so I have six copper, okay. Let's sell one of these off, um, just so we can see what it's worth. Uh, I need 50 of those. Let's, let's, hang, let's hang on to these for now. Put that in the bin here. Let's grab out this and uh, this. And let's sell off the shoots. Let's sell off the, let's sell off the cauliflower parsnips. Like I'm just gonna commit to this. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna farm. I'm just gonna not farm. Um, actually I shouldn't sell those off. I trash them, I can't sell them. So let's hang on over now. Uh, let's see, Topaz. Let's see how much this stuff is worth. If I wanna sell it or not. So Topaz is 80, uh, these are worth 25 each. These are worth 50 each. So we can hang on to one for Gunther then. I'll sell off two, keep one back. Uh, the Topaz I'll keep back for now. I just gotta make sure I have 2,500 so I can make sure. So I, I think slime technically, it, it does drop from Slimes. Oops. Uh, let's kill this guy. All right. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. And put the 81 back in here. Uh, we're going to sell off that copper bar just to see how much it's worth. It's not worth a whole lot, but uh, there's a bat coming. Bat wings sold for how much? These sell for five each, these sell for 15 each. Okay, it's good to know these things. So I know what's worth selling and what's not. All right, uh, let's get in here. All right, I'm gonna step away for a second. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Sorry about that. Let's bring the camera back in. Kind of fighting off a cold. I don't know if you can hear my voice a little bit. All right. How much did we earn there? I didn't even look. So the bug meat's worth eight each. So bug meat's more valuable than slime and bat wings are more valuable than bug meat. So that's kind of the hierarchy of things we get rid of. Uh, okay, let's take a look at our luck. Queen of sauce, sure, absolutely. Stir fry, excellent. Um, displeased today. Okay, so we're just gonna go normal route in then and attempt to... So Batwing is worth selling. Um, should we go over to the... Should we go over to the thing today? Let's do that. Let's drop these things off for... Uh, let's drop these things off for Gunther. We'll wait till nine. And then we'll go we'll go uh, back to the mine then after that. Actually, I, we should go over to town because it's possible the community center is ready to go. It's Sunday too. We could take a look at the traveling cart. I forgot that on Friday. We we're so excited about going to uh, the mines.
Nothing of interest up there. I'm going to leave it for a few more days. And let's go to the traveling cart over here. I think the museum opens pretty early, if I'm not mistaken. All right, fish tacos, seafoam pudding, iron ore, pomegranate sturgeon, parsnip seeds, box lamp, I like that. Um, pomegranate, maybe. Iron ore for 900, that's not worth it, even though we're gonna, we're gonna we couldn't get to it just yet, but um, yeah, I don't wanna do that just yet. We'll get to that pretty soon here. We're at level like 20, I think we see Iron starting at like level 40, so we're halfway to iron already. It's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look and see how much the upgrade costs for the pick, but I'm not gonna do it today. And then I'm gonna do these geodes and probably get a few things off of that. Then we'll donate stuff to Gunther quick. Um, I have to make a few stops at Gunther. Uh, this is not open till nine o'clock, so let's go down over here first. Oh, actually, eh, was it? Let's go back up here. I know there's a couple spots we could have gotten along the river here that we haven't been able to get the last couple days since we have a couple minutes here. All right. So right over here, we should find some things. They were here. Did they leave? They left. Oh, no, this one's here. They only stay for two days, it looks like. That's good. I can sell that off. Um. Yeah, I might have to make up some rules for like how to handle things that could be obtained above ground versus below ground, like plant fiber. Like, am I allowed to sell it? Not that I would, but because it could be dropped from the mines, as well as people above ground. I don't know. Like, I could get it two different ways. There's quite a few things like that. So, I don't know. Like, like winter root, for instance, is okay. Oh, let's drop these things off first here. Hi there, Gunther. Got some donations for you. Um, so, this will be yellow, so it'll be about here. here all right let's go let's go smash some things um i can get rid of this one wood don't need that all right next process oh first of all what's the upgrades so copper pickaxe is 2000 so i have that and this would be a good idea to get so i can start trashing things and getting a little bit back for it for the rules here all right, that's new. I can only do a couple of these before I need to... Oh, that's good. We have that one already, too. All right, so actually, that's pretty decent. I can sell those off right away. Sell that one off. Sell this one off. Um... Process a one more here. Another? What is going on with this? Oh, it's an unlucky day. That's part of it too, I believe. That the luck factor. Actually, I take that back. We want to get some low-level stuff right now, so the luck probably doesn't matter a whole lot at this point in the game. Later on, the luck probably would matter more. All right, so this is yellow. This looks like it's magical. This looks like it's boring. This looks like it's boring. All right. Collect, we've got melon seeds. All right. Hmm. Can't do anything with those. Let's process a couple more. Copper's good. That's good too. Calcite is good. Um, Malachite 
Okay, should I drop some things off here? I'm trying to get the rest of these things done before I go back to Gunther a second time here. Okay. Okay. Sell that off right away. All right. One. That one we sold off already. That one got to turn in. Thunder Egg, Malachite, Gunther, Gunther, Gunther. Right. Cool. Not too shabby. Got a few things done. Grab those back. Nice. Donate. Uh, so this is another green. And this is orange. Orange would be like here. Actually, that would be that'll be close to it. Also. Oh, I've got to put the reward there. Let's get that, and we can donate this. Um, so this is technically an orange as well. Rearrange. Because it's a priority. Uh, so this is more orange and yellow. And the darker things are, the lower they go here. Is the idea. I don't know. It's a theory. All right. Now. Oh, I should put this in here. For now. <laughs> I like doing that kind of stuff. All right. Uh, let's go back up to the mines then. And we will see how far we can go. We're in a displeased day, so we might not get too far. And the community center is not open yet. Can we go over to here and talk to Morris about the program? I think we need five grand to join that. Oops. Hello there, sir. Welcome to Jojo Bar. How's it going? You're currently in the process of getting a brand new membership program system set up for our customers. Check back soon. Okay. I think it only triggers once we've activated the community center. Possibly. After, as soon as, as soon as, uh, as soon as Lewis mentions the loyalty program, then it's, uh, that, then we can go set up for it. But it's five grand, I think, to buy a membership. So we need a little more money first. And then... I don't know what level that puts us at. Like, what have we what have we accomplished with that five grand? Someone was throwing rocks at his tent last night. I would like to know who's doing this stuff to him, or if it's just like a paranoid thing, like no one's actually doing that. All right, so let's drop off the stuff we don't need right now, like that. All right, here we go, and down to twenty. Okay, so I could fish here now. That is an option. Come on back. Better. There we go. All right, displeased today is going to be tough to find things. And you're not even getting any rocks off of these. How bad is that? We're going to do all of these. Yeah, I'm not going to get too far today. It's already starting off pretty bad. One floor. 
Actually, we're 22 now, so three more floors. They do kind of give us a freebie. I love the one-two combination there. I guess maybe we could get a bug steak eventually here, but that's going to be the only food I can feasibly get. Unless I find a lucky, a lucky cave carrot, maybe. I just don't think it's going to happen. Ooh, swing and a miss. We haven't seen any ore. Just a couple of random drops like that. Love that. get too far here tonight almost positive we started late because of the, the geo processing and then we're in a bad luck day and yeah, maybe we'll get to 25 these sell for like 50 a piece right that'll work oh there's a couple boxes over there that's not bad Omni Geode? Well, that's pretty lucky. For this uh, level, that's not, that, that's not too bad. Paid off here, hopefully. Hey, boots, that's nice. Not bad. You bet George is throwing rocks at his. I mean, George throwing rocks at it would be surprising given that he has to like roll all the way up the mountain in his wheelchair. I just, he is the type, but like, I don't. I don't know. He's not a very good culprit for that. All right, let's get some energy back here before we continue on. It's early still. All right, and then grab. Oh, how much does this sell for? Did it tell me? Probably nothing. Let's just assume it's nothing. There, assumed. Okay, and then got wood. Let's find this staircase. Where's the ladder? Where's the ladder? Well, that's lucky. Okay. Everybody all at once. Oh, I should have gone up first, though, and dropped some stuff off.
What is that? Is it slime? It's slime. Seven. Oh, that's pretty good. Lucky. I'm just going to take that. Grab a couple things here. See anything else? Easy? No, let's just keep going. We're already 10 o'clock, so I got to get two more floors, three more floors still. This is a long one. I know there's usually an exit at the end of the train tracks. Most of the time. So let's take a look at that. Oh, wasting a lot of energy here. Might not make it through this one. Uh, let's take a look. Well, the coal will be worth it. Nice. Nice crit there. All right, 11 o'clock. I got to get out of here soon. I got to find two more floors still. That's not going to happen. Time to cut losses, I think. Yeah, we're going. Got to head back. Not going to be, not going to, not going to risk it. Oh, well. I made it five. Let's do this and leave that. Take those with us. Leave that. Um, leave that for now too. Bring those to sell. Okay, let's go. All right. Not a hugely successful day, but it was a luck, uh, a low luck day. So there's not too much to expect from that. I brought one geode with me, but not the other one. All right. Next geode day, I'll wait for a lucky day for that too. Um, there's a lot of like, so like back to the back to the throwing the rocks of the tent thing. Um, there's a couple of things in this game that are kind of like that. We're like, who's actually doing that? Who's throwing rocks at his tent? Who's, who's like knocking down his tent? He says that people have done that before too. Like who would do that in this town? And then uh, compounding that, like, so there's also a thing where if you're friends with Linus and you pass out on your farm or anywhere really, uh, Linus will find you and be like, hey, I found you and someone's going through your pockets and stole some of your stuff. I chased them off, but, um, Yada yada, like who so you're saying that somebody came onto my farm and pickpocketed me while I was passed out? Like who in this town is doing that? Light breeze. Alright, let's go. Okay. Let's see if we can get um the community center to trigger, maybe. Let's go visit that in the morning. Um let's see where we're at with that. And then this will probably be the last day for tonight. Okay, spreading weeds causes damage to my farm. I mean, what damage? How can you tell? Fortune teller says, very displeased. Okay, we're not getting any luck at all here right now. Rain all day tomorrow. All right. Well, not a big deal. Deeper reach level 40. All right. And... Um... Nothing I need out of there. All right, let's go. Let's go over to town. I think if we get there early, it might trigger the community center. We'll find out. I'm not sure what day that happens on. I think it should be within the first week. 
Nope, nothing. Okay. Maybe it needs to be a certain time of day. In this case, because it's... We'll just go... We'll go over this way. And then we'll come back down here later. I think that's not the best way to handle it for now. And then the next luck day, like I said, we're going to get the pickaxe upgrade. Because that at least gives us a chance to... We'll, we'll try mining without the pickaxe and see how that works. Alright, anything on green out of here? Nope. Oh, let's put it in this, um, this and this. Alright. 25. Looking good. So no enemies at all here, apparently. Oh, there's one. I don't know why I broke that. I shouldn't have wasted my energy on that one. Hey, there we go. That's something at least. pick upgrade just yet um it's a lot of money and i'd rather get the pickaxe upgrade first after the pickaxe upgrade then maybe i think if we get to level 30 we'll get the slingshot which might be helpful and then after that we'll get a random item just thinking what things i need to buy So I can't sell the mushroom, but I could... Well, actually, technically I could, because it's from the mines. So... I think I have a lot of sell. I would be allowed to gift it, technically, too, I believe. Well, that's lucky. I might go down here, though, to be sure that there's no... Uh... Oh, I was down this far before. I, was, I, think, I think we were this far before, so I... Shouldn't find any more coal over here. Take a quick glance at it. All right, we already found that. Let's just get out of here. There's a couple of quartz down there. It's not quite worth it. That dox is not worth it. I'm just gonna keep going. Since we already found the exit, I have to walk all the way back here. If we hadn't found the exit yet, I would have done a lot of stuff, but let's take the freebie. Well, this will be good. stuff let's eat this for now okay uh let's see you toss those then we have that um let's eat the cave carrots I'm allowed to eat those. Got that. Leave the leave the hardwood, I guess. Next, I'll throw away the plant fiber, probably. If I need more space for anything else, that's better. It's not super useful for this character. There we go. We're at 30. Nice. Oh, nothing at 30. Okay. All right. Oh, we're into the darker areas now, though. So that's fun times. It's 
very tough to see here. Apologize it's so dark. Oh, there's no way. I feel like we need the glow ring or something like that by the time we get here. Where is that? Where is it coming from? Where is it coming from? I could take this torch over here and use it, but I have a lot of pack space at the moment. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's drop stuff off and then come back in. Because it's only two o'clock, right? And I have a lot of energy still. So let's drop things off. And then we'll go back down. Actually, I can make a torch here too, I think, right? Uh, t t one sap. Okay, that's a good reason to hang on to sap then. Okay. Not this. I want to go down the elevator to 30. And maybe we'll find a torch I can use. There we go. To walk until I find a spot to set it down, right? Oh, it's taking a lot of chops to get through this stuff now, too. That's also going to slow down my progress quite a bit. Oh, well. Let's use that bomb over here, actually. Unless the bomb will break uh, those rocks on my farm. I don't think they will, though. I'm not 100% sure on that. Feels like it should, though. Three, huh? Okay. I'm just killing this stuff for the uh, the Adventurers Guild um, quest as well. It's really tough to get those sometimes. I think the rewards are pretty decent though. If I can get them quickly. If I get way too long on them, I'm already kind of leveled past the stuff they give me. energy here. Three chops on these now. Oh, that sucks. All right. Okay, we gotta go back out of here now. I'll leave the torch. I'm not gonna take a swing just to get that. Um, <laughs> well, 
Let's just go. Let's just go. We're at 34 though. Oh, oh wait, later. Oh, nice to be able to see. Oh my god. All right, well that's lucky. I said I had no luck today. Grab those. Grab this now. This, this, and this. Leave that for now. Um. Leave that for now. I'll sell it. All right, we're doing pretty good on this stuff. All right, let's head back. 7 p.m. Early night, but I'm almost out of energy and I didn't get a lot of food, so that's fine. Um, we can go see if the community center thing happens. I don't know if it will. It probably needs to be in the morning. All right. Well, in any event. Maybe it's not like the 10th? I don't even know. Who wants what? A sunfish. Oh, not gonna worry about that too much. Um, let's, let's organize quick stuff quick and then we'll cut, wrap it up for the night. There'll be enemies coming at the farm here too. Not that I'll have a whole lot of energy to do anything there, but I got plenty of copper ready to go for the next big day. That's lucky. That's luck, next lucky day. Sell these off, sell that off. Put that in there, sell that off. At 96, so that'll get us pretty far into the mines, I think, um, without a pickaxe. Figuring I can get more copper along the way to craft additionals. This should be pretty good. The only thing I'm really missing is food then. Let's go shake some trees quick. Free, don't cost nothing. I don't think that costs anything either. All right, I need uh, an acorn though still, not the... We're due for a lucky day. Nothing though, huh? All right, well, whatever. I'm gonna call it a night. And I will uh, bring this back though soon. I'm gonna do another stream probably, maybe tomorrow even. Um, I don't really have any thought going on this week. So I will uh, be in touch. Make sure to follow on Discord or on Twitter. I'll let you guys know when I'm going live. And um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and uh, show your support for a new series. Glad to be back playing Stardew Valley for you guys. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Ooh, level three mining, not bad.